so guys welcome to my channel again and in this video i'll be showing how to turn this into this yes so basically we're going to create an artificial optical snoot effect basically on any image or any background so first of all i'm going to duplicate this layer and then i'll go to select subject and right here i'm going to zoom to check out those little errors while selecting the image so i'm just going to um, select them precisely so when you're done selecting you copy and paste ctrl c and ctrl v and right here we'll name this uh image and then we'll create our shadows so i'm going to create a new layer and then i'm going to go down to this image and click control and click on this thumbnail this icon here and it's going to select our uh, the edges of the image and i'm just going to go to paint bucket choose black and i make sure my opacity is 100 percent so i'm just going to drop this inside the image the selected area and it should look like this so i'm going to do deselect and then i'm going to blur a bit to 12 radius of 12 and just click ok so now i'm going to rename this to shadow and then i'll bring this under the image and then I'm, I'm going to tilt it to my left while doing this you need to take note of where your light is coming from um, basically most of the lights are coming from top of her head like up down so uh, basically you can actually put this anywhere you want yeah so for this image i'll be putting this slightly to my left and bring it down a bit like this uh, let's say like this so after doing this i'm going to create this snoot effect i'm going to create another layer i'll put it up i can name this the snoot effect and then i'll go to my um elliptical mark it to and just draw a circle you can click shift to get a perfect circle or you leave it to get an oval so i'm going to use this which is a perfect circle and i'm going to um, arrange this properly and then i'll right click and select inverse and then i'm going to fade that to like 20 to radius of 20 and then i'm going to go back to my paint bucket using black and opacity 100 and i'm going to drop this outside the selected area which is this and i'm going to deselect so right here we have a snoot effect and i'm going to reduce the opacity a bit to i see like 80 or 80 something and then i'm going to as you can see it's already looking like the real version of optical snoot so now i'm going to i'm going to clean off these extra shadows on the on the on the downside of the image i'm going to go to my shadows using my eraser tool and just clean the down part of the image so it fades away like so I'm going to clean them because the effect we don't need shadows on areas where the light isn't touching so this is going to clean this side a bit and so we have our image so right here um, you can see our shadows is looking really really dark so I'm going to reduce the opacity a bit so it should actually look like a real shadow reduce the opacity it's like 65 and here we go we have ourselves an artificial optical snoot effect
So if you have any question on this, you can drop it on the comment section. Thanks for watching. Smash the subscribe button, like and share. I'm going to see you on the next video.